What's up you guys? This is your girl Sweetie and um before we get started with this video, um I just wanted to say that this video is very uh graphic um in nature um with some of the explanations of uh you know what took place um there's some parts that I think that kids shouldn't hear so if you have any young people around you that you don't want to hear this video get them out the way right now okay because it's about to go down you feel me so yeah all right so I'm just giving you a moment to get the kids out the way so make sure you do that we don't want no kids listening to this it's, it's, it's me explaining about this fight but it's some grown-up content in this about this fight you know because it, it's not just a fight I'm telling some um, other explicit uh, details you feel me when I say explicit, you can imagine what I'm talking about. It has to do with a man and a woman. You feel me? So, yeah. Get them out of the way. All right. Let's get on with the video. I'm going to do my intro again. My intro again. All right. Let's get into it. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Sweet Tea, in the mother freaking house. How y'all doing today? And this is story time. Y'all, I got a, a story to tell to y'all. This is about, I know you saw the title. Um, yeah, so I went to Job Corps. It was the best time of my life. I ended up uh, falling in love with this dude. This dude named Tracy Lattimore. He was so fine, bow-legged. He was the best looking dude on campus. He was muscular and just so fine. And we were so in love. I was so in love with him and he claimed he loved me. But uh, after a while, he broke up with me for certain reasons. The reason being he broke up with me because, okay, I was a virgin and um, he was trying to have sex with me and uh, he was too big. He had the longest penis you ever want to see. And uh, I could not take that, to be blunt. <laughs> so um, he got mad about it. And he ended up breaking up with me. He ended up going with this other girl. I guess she can take it. You feel me? But I used to see them walk around, and it made me so mad. I used to see them walk around holding hands and kissing. And, you know, he had been doing the same thing to me. And I was so in love with him, like, and how it happened was, um, I ended up going home for a vacation. He didn't break up with me yet, but when I went home for a two week vacation around Christmas time and I come back, he was with her and he was ignoring me and he was hugging on her and kissing on her. And that just tore me apart. And I was like, oh no, when I bought, I came in with my luggage and I and I ran up on that and I saw that going down. So so I, I was like, oh man, I wanna go back home immediately. I ain't even wanna be there no more. And, um, but I had to stay and get my education. So a few weeks, I mean, as time went by each and every day, I just see them like that, like they just so in love and um, it pissed me off. And I started wanting to get revenge on her. I started uh, thinking of a master plan, thinking of a plot. What could I do to this girl? I started just feeling like antsy, like I wanted to beat her ass. Like, I was like, I can't have this. But I, in the meantime, though, I was begging him and pleading him, you know, to get back with me and crying and telling him I love him so much. Why are you doing me like this? And he was like, uh-uh, I can't go back. Once I done broke up with somebody, it's over. And I was like, please. And he was like, no, I said no. And I was just breaking down. I was like, just, ooh. So I had a friend girl though. I used to confide in her and talk to her about everything, all my problems and everything. That was my bestie. And I told her how it was tearing me apart. And um, we used to see that girl that he was, that he broke up with me for. We used to see that girl um, sitting in the hallway with this other girl um and they looked like they they was just on um, like happy about you know she was looking at me funny like you know 
and smiling and laughing like everything was just so giggly and funny because she know what she had done done how she took him away from me and everything so um me and my friend girl we plotted to jump on him and uh we caught him in the hallway no they were sitting outside the cafeteria on a bench so um my friend girl said you swing on this one and i swing on the other one so that's exactly what we did so it went down um i walked up to one girl the, the girl that i wanted you know what i'm saying the one that was dating my boyfriend i walked up on her and i went pow i punched her dead in her face and then my friend girl, I could see her. No, I take that back. This is the way it went. My friend girl walked over first. She punched one girl. Pow. Yeah, that's the way it went. I mean, my friend girl hit that girl so hard, she knocked spit out of her mouth. I was like, damn. I was like, but it's my turn. So I ran. I ran up immediately and hit the other girl in her jaw. Bam. I hit her. So, um... Boy, she jumped up and we started throwing down, pow, pow, up and down the side while we went, pow, pow, pow. Not that long because I ended up knocking her ass down on the ground, bam. And when she fell, I jumped on top of her, not sitting on top of her, but I, I grabbed her by the hair and I started punching all in her face, pow, 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 pow. And um, I even kicked her while she was on the ground, stomping her with my foot. And then she was like kicking and kicking and trying to, you know, get me away from her. But I, I ended up grabbing her by the hair too and I drug her a little bit. And then here comes security. This, Yeah, we had security. And this was in my, I didn't tell y'all, this was in Miami. This was in Miami Job Corps. You feel me? So, yeah. Uh, like I say, best time of my life up there. I stayed up there for two years. So, anyway. Or whatever. I, um... Like I said, uh, oh, security, security grabbed me and picked me up in the air and uh, was like, I was like, uh, let me go, let me go. But she jumped up. How about she jumped up? She grabbed a piece of glass, a, well, rather a glass bottle that was on the ground. And she, um. She grabbed that glass and she, oh, she broke it on the ground. Bow. And then she came for me. She started um, trying to stab me with the glass broken bottle. So security, they had to grab her. Picked up in there with that bottle and took her on to the office. Mm, Y'all, this is good. This is Arizona. Mucho mango. I love these things. I like all kinds that they make. So anyway, they took us in the office and they had a meeting with us. And um, I began to talk and tell them about the situation and uh, tell them why I did what I did and all that deal. I was about to get suspended and have to um, go home. I was about to get kicked off the campus and have to go home. But I had to apologize and promise that I won't do it again. And I was um, being watched thoroughly. But I did get it off my chest. Now, did it stop Tracy Lattimore from uh, continuing to uh, date her? No. So what did I do it for? But I felt better. But, you know, after that, I started doing all kinds of little crazy stuff. Still trying to get at that girl i was mad like uh i was wash washing my clothes in the laundry room i mean in the washroom or whatever i saw her in the washing she stepped off from her machine and went somewhere to go sit down way out the way she went in another area of the building i went in her washing machine i saw some dirty drawers i had went outside and got a stick and i put the drawers on the stick and I started walking through the campus laughing at them because they was crusty. I started telling everybody I was bold. I was look, I was like, look at Donna's draws. Look at her draws. They crusty. And everything, you know.
Everybody was laughing. I was like, this whole dirty, look at these crusty drawers. I was just walking around with them on display. And then she ran up on me and I say, look at your dirty ass drawers. Ho, you dirty. And um, I was waiting for her to say something out the way or whatever so we could fight again. So yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there's somebody riding by looking at me, this white guy. Yeah, so I did that. What else I did? Oh, I saw her tennis shoes. I took them, tied the strings together, and throwed them over this wire up high. This here pole. Y'all ever seen how um, people be doing that? They be throwing tennis shoes over wires and stuff like that, and you see them dangling from, from uh, wires and stuff up in there? I did it like that. Like, it was just tearing me apart, man. But, you know, I finally got over it. It was guys that was on me. They liked me and stuff. And I ended up kicking it with somebody else. And it got my mind up off of her. So, yeah. I'm having, I was having lunch, y'all. I be parking on my lunch break. So, yeah. I started dating somebody else. And they took my mind up off that situation. Then, here he come. He want to get jealous. He done left her alone because he done heard a lot of things about her. Come to find out she was using powder. You know, she was snorting powder. She was on drugs real bad. She was an alcoholic. All that. So he was coming back to me, catching me off in certain little areas, cornering me off and, and um, you know, feeling on me and kissing me. And I was like, stop. You know how we do. I was like, I got somebody. He was like. You know, I could tell he didn't really want me back as a girlfriend. It was more like, you know, sexual stuff. He was trying to get at me for that and everything. So, but I ain't, I ain't get back with him or nothing like that. I didn't try to either. You feel me? So, um, what else? Yeah, I was just um in love with him so much. But you know, I never forgot about him. Um. If I wish I could have seen him again. Like I was from like where I'm from now, Tampa. And uh he lived in Dublin, Georgia, I heard. And um I heard later on in life she ended up on uh drugs real bad. And um oh, she ended up catching a charge because she had I seen it too. Um I looked her up online, her first and last name and I saw it online that she ended up going to prison because she ended up um, like uh, scamming an old person or whatnot. And uh, yeah, out of a whole lot of money. So yeah, I was like, ooh. And then I saw all these mug shots, mug shots of her. I was like, dang. But you know, yep. Um, I ain't never found a love like that since. And a good looking fine man like that since. And one that's packing like that, you know. Because he had one on him, honey. And uh, you feel me? Oh, he also messed around with me. I caught this girl. Because when he one night he was trying to make love to me. And I, like I said, I couldn't take it. So he went um, all disappointed. Oh, I had told this girl about it in the bathroom. I shared that with her. I was crying. She was like, what's wrong with you? I told her, I said he was trying to make love to me and I and I and I couldn't take it. And um she was like, What? Next thing I know, she walked off of me and I saw them. I walked out the bathroom and saw her and him dotting off in the boys' bathroom. I said, Look at this hoe. You know, she ran up and no, I then I ran behind them. I was like, What y'all doing? What you doing? Why you doing this? Don't girl, you tried it. And um I told him, What you doing? You feel me? So they came up out of the, but I think they got it on later on. It was crazy. Hold on, y'all. The phone call coming in. So, yeah. Yeah, I only stopped them for that moment. I feel like, you know, later on, they really did what they had to do. You feel me? But, yeah. Job Corps is very fun. So, if y'all ever, uh, if some of y'all around that age range, 18, and want to go to job code do it you'll have a lot of fun and everything it's a lot of fun you feel me but uh yeah that was my story time i hope y'all enjoyed it 
Y'all stay tuned for more story times coming from me. I have some more here on my page. I just did one the other day about raising my kids and um, my girls and how they got into a lot of fights and everything. So y'all, y'all, and I told about how the fights went. You feel me? Some of them, but yeah. Um, I don't condone fighting if you're young and you see this video. I'm not trying to, the video is really not made for no nobody that's up under 18 because I said some explicit stuff. So we're hoping that that no young people are watching this you feel me but um if you are 18 and up and um or either if you just young um don't get into no fights uh it's not worth it um i don't condone violence you feel me but you know back then i was young and dumb you feel me so i was like 17 16 probably 16 yeah so yeah um yeah, and the reason why I went to Job Corps too because I ended up dropping out of school at the time. Um, there was some things going on at the school that I didn't like, so I ended up dropping out. But I ended up getting my diploma later on through life. So, yeah, y'all be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. So, yeah, like I was saying, y'all uh, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, thanks for having you here. I'm, I'm very thankful for you checking me out. And um, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. It's free. It don't cost you nothing. But you will be entertained because your girl be dropping on what? Bangers! And that's on everything. Your girl be entertaining. I'm on um, TikTok as your girl Sweet Tea. That's Y-A-G-I-R-L Sweet T-E-E. -E. I'm on y'all. So I'm sorry for that noise. It's a garbage truck over here. But um. Like I said, I'm sitting in my vehicle, my SUV, and I was having lunch, and so I decided to drop a video for y'all. But yeah, I'm on um, TikTok as your girl, Sweet Tea. That's why A G R R L, Sweet T E E. And I'm on Instagram as the Talented Sweet Tea. That's the Talented Sweet T E E. And I'm on Facebook as your girl, Sweet Tea. That's why A G R R L, Sweet T E E. So y'all be sure to check me out and check out all of my other videos, okay? Alright y'all, it's your girl Sweet Tea and I'm about this thing. Bye!